you feel when you were dropped when you dropped down off a building in in bubble wrap? Oh, the bubble wrap episode. That was awful. So just to recap, this was an episode of how much bubble wrap would you need to protect you if you jumped off a building? And it was this, there was an episode in which a guy put a bunch of bubble wrap out on the ground and jumped off a building onto it. The worst kind of viral video, because it was totally fake, but what is the end result? Someone's gonna try that, and you're gonna be responsible for someone having died. So we wanted to show that it was not safe to do that, but then we wanted to see if you wrapped me in bubble wrap, and we figured out how to drop me perfectly vertically so I didn't change, and I bounced off the ground safely, we could show how complicated it was to do that. So we wrapped me in something like four feet of bubble wrap, and I don't mean four feet long, I mean enough bubble wrap where I was a burrito uh, eight feet in diameter and eight feet long with little me as the creamy candy center. <laughs> and Jamie had to pull the line to release me and drop me. Now, I trust Jamie more than any other human in my life to take responsibility for that specific task and vice versa. I mean, that, that was a totally, I don't need to hold this anymore. It was a nice fidget spinner for a minute. Um, and to, to tell the tale of Jamie's trust in me, when we did the Batman episode and he made a, 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 a little winch with a tiny a bit of high strength cable and he shot it over a girder and ro like rose up to the 40 foot ceiling and it was then that he revealed to us he hadn't worked out how to unwind the string. <laughs> so he's like, uh, um, I can't back, I can't back gear this thing. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Jamie, well, we've got you on belay so you can cut the rope. And he, now, if I was in Jamie's position, I would go, okay, cool. And then I would look at the rope clipped to my belt, and I would follow that knot up to the pulley up here, over to the pulley over there, and down to the people holding on to it. That's just my nature as a rigger. Jamie reached up with a knife and sliced the rope. <laughs> it gets better. He, in order, he, so if your arm is hanging like this, you can't reach a rope above it with a knife in this hand unless you're holding Crocodile Dundee's knife. And so he had to, uh, like this, to cut it, and when he cut it, he punched himself in the nose. <laughs> he broke his own nose. <laughs> and, he, and he came back down, and then we were like, before you clean it up, we want to interview you on camera. <laughs> and this is when we discovered that in San Francisco, and this is morbid, um, but Jamie and I both had noted this previously, that if you have stitches in your face, you want them to be sewn up by someone who will be very careful about not leaving a scar. And if you want to do that in San Francisco, you go to SF General, which is the hospital that has the most stabbings. Because we, that's where Northern California plastic surgeons go and do a rotation to get really good at sewing people up. So that was a weird thing we learned while making this show. <laughs> Thank you for that.